One of the things that does trouble me, and I was very emphatic yesterday about this, is, and again today, and tomorrow, and I have been for a long time, is this bill doesn't even deal with underwriting. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the bottom of this upside-down pyramid, the crisis began because we had a lot of mortgages in this country that should have never been written in the first place. That's at the core of this issue. And then we had firms that were way over leveraged that were doing that. And then we spread the pain through $600 trillion in notional value around the world, right? But it started with the fact that a lot of loans were written that shouldn't have been written. And I don't think this bill even addresses that. So I think that's a little bit of an issue. And, you know, if we come to the floor with a template that deals with consumer protection, that deals with systemic risk, that deals with derivatives, I hope that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle will join in with many members on this side of the aisle to correct that. I mean, at the end of the day, if we continue to write loans that shouldn't be written and we continue to securitize them and if we continue to spread them around the world, we haven't done much in this legislation.